Welcome dear friend dog lover. Thank you in advance for visiting my channel dedicated to the happiness and health of dogs. Today we are going to deal with a very important issue and it is Kishan puppies. History. Recognized as a spitz breed, the word Kishan is a two-syllable word, where the first syllable, keys, derived from the nickname of Cornelius de Gisselar, the Patriot Rebellion leader, who we will learn more about below. The second syllable, hond, means, dog, in Dutch and together we pronounce them as Kees Hond. The smiling Dutch barge dog rode on small vessels that traveled the Rhine River, acting as both watchdogs and companions to barge captains. To carry a dog on a vessel was first considered a good omen and developed into a custom. In time the dog became part of the sea laws, because it came to represent ownership. Their travels made them known well beyond the Netherlands, but they really gained a name during the political turmoil that gripped Holland in the late 17th century. In about 1781, Holland was divided into two political factions, the Orangists conservatives, who supported the Prince of Orange as governor of the Netherlands, and the rebellious patriots, or Kiezen, as the pro-Orange men derisively referred to the People's Party members. Cornelius de Gisselaar, who had one of these popular dogs as his constant companion, was a leader in the Patriots' revolt and the Kishand quickly became the emblem of the Dutch party. Unfortunately, when the Patriots were defeated the dog's popularity plummeted. The development of the Kishand in Australia really began in 1949 when Mrs. Bourne emigrated from England. She brought with her four Kishanden and these dogs became the foundations of the Australian lines in the 1950s and 1960s temperament. The Kishandan character has a unique charm that boasts a sense of humor, rarely found in other breeds, and an enjoyment for life which is delightfully infectious. His intelligence exudes from his quick-witted and amazingly observant nature and his sheer good looks will make you forgive him every time. Ideal as a child's playmate he can join in their games, however rowdy and rough, with no fear of getting out of hand. Whether you are looking to enter the show ring, obedience trials, agility trials, flyball trials or adopt a loving family pet, the Kishand will make an exciting addition to the home lifestyle. Appearance. The Kishandan character has a unique charm that boasts a sense of humor, rarely found in other breeds, and an enjoyment for life which is delightfully infectious. His intelligence exudes from his quick-witted and amazingly observant nature and his sheer good looks will make you forgive him every time. Ideal as a child's playmate he can join in their games, however rowdy and rough, with no fear of getting out of hand. Whether you are looking to enter the show ring, obedience trials, agility trials, flyball trials or adopt a loving family pet, the Kishand will make an exciting addition to the home lifestyle. Health Issues The Kishand is a generally healthy dog with an average lifespan of 10 to 13 years, although many have lived well into their teens. Health conditions that have been seen in the Kishand include hip dysplasia, epilepsy, primary hyperparathyroidism, and skin and coat problems. Not every Kishand will get all or even any of these conditions, but it's best to be aware of the possibility. A reputable breeder will be honest and open about health problems in the breed and the incidents with which they occur in their lines. Suitability and Maintenance True to his heritage as a barge dog, the Kishand has moderate exercise needs. He will be satisfied with a walk on leash or playtime in a yard and generally adapts to his owner's activity level. These traits make him well suited to life in a smaller space. One caveat, he is a barker. That makes him a good watchdog, but he can easily cross the line into nuisance. It's essential to teach him when it's okay to exercise his lungs and when it isn't. One of the most striking characteristics of our breed is their harsh, offstanding, and straight coat. To the untrained eye at first glance the Kishandan coat would appear to need many hours of grooming due to its density and profuse coat, however, a 10-minute session a couple of times a week will keep your Kishand not free and looking as fabulous as ever. Hence one of the Kishandan inherited nicknames is the lazy man's glamour dog. Grooming not only serves the purpose of coat care and maintenance, but also allows you to monitor your dog's health and build the bond between you and your pet. It's also a great time to practice the commands, sit, stay and drop. During shedding seasons into summer and winter, males usually malt their coats once a year and female twice a year, and yes you guessed it, more grooming during these times is required. In conclusion. Now you know a little about the Kishand, you may think that this is the dog for you. Before you make a decision, please make contact with the breed club or your state controlling body for purebred dogs. 
They will be able to give you information about available puppies and also suggest dog shows where you can see the breed and speak to breeders. In this way you will gain a better perspective of the Kishand and its needs, and whether this breed would suit your lifestyle. You're a wonderful person. Wow, you came to the end of this video. Can you please subscribe and activate the bell? If possible we would appreciate you giving us a like. We appreciate it from the heart. Thank you very much and God bless you.